Hello guys, I'm Kamran from Graphic Experience and today uh, I'm going to start our, our new course about Element 3D. So, in the first uh, part, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn about the graphics user interface of Element 3D. So first, create a new composition. It can be anything around 720p is really nice. So go for it. I'll go and create a new layer first, uh, make it transparent so that you can see it. Layer new and solid. And have a solid. Uh, the color of the solid doesn't matter. Then go to effect, video copilot, and element. And there it turned transparent. So here is the graphics user interface. You're familiar with uh, this option and the recent and about option. But what about these? These are new. So here's the scene setup, the main control panel, where your objects will appear, your materials will appear, and uh, <coughs> some more things like extrusion, which I will cover later. So there are some options right there, which you can check out. Mm, Alright, so <coughs> there are the groups. You can use five groups, no matter how many... Um, objects are there but you can individually control only five groups which are here they have some other options particle replicator particle look and group utilities and some more things which I will show you later there is the animation engine which I usually don't use just uh, being used for some motion graphics and some basic uh, 3d movements <coughs> then uh, there is the world transform um, it's really not used because I'm using element 1.6 I don't use this world transform rather I just go and use create nulls and uh, use them to control the position of my objects so here are the custom layers in which you can add some text and mask and also extrude them and make them as a 3d model or you can use some texture maps which I will cover later there are utilities this is a new option added and it is such amazing which I'll show you later and there are the render settings the environment uh, from which you can get some reflections as element is not a ray tracer and the lighting this is rather fake lighting you must use the lighting from there um, which I will cover in some next tutorial then we come to fog and this is some uh, fog simulation and being in occlusion uh, you are really familiar with that these are just fake shadows and uh, this is motion blur motion blur is just you know and depth of field is a really nice option then something new added from element v1.5 is glow you can enable glow in here then there is camera cutoff which i usually don't use and seriously don't know what it does so there are the render orders just let it to be fixed and then the output here you can use a new option which is added in v1.6 and that's world position it's really amazing I'll tell you later what it does and there are some um, polygon mods which you can use uh, to enhance your view or make some sci-fi thing and samples and aliasing just leave that as it is and then there is multi-pass mixture which I will use in some um, image based lighting and I'll tell you what it is for full render uh, you can uh, fast up your speed by using preview and draft uh, I really don't prefer draft use preview or if you have a big car then use full render so this was all for the first part uh, about UI as I covered what everything does so if you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel